Narnia! Oh, I'm sorry about that. Am I in Narnia? Or where's Boss Man? Oh, what's up you guys? Sasha Boss here. And today, I just finished The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe uh, by Sarah Lewis. Uh, this is what the cover art looks like. It's the Witch's Castle, Jason's Castle, All the Creatures in Stone. Really, really good book. Um, I read this under two days from a normal lifespan of book reading of this trilogy. How I felt with the book is coming right up. So, the movie The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe takes place during the air raids. Oh, so the movie, like, it's all the back in the house and stuff. That, is, that just was added for the movie, but the actual book takes place 15 minutes later in the movie where Lucy and Edmund all go to the house with the professor, and the professor's there, and it's, they introduce him to the professor, and then they play hide and seek, what happened in the movie, Lucy goes to the wardrobe, um, she meets Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Thomas wants to kidnap uh, Lucy for the witch, but he knows not to do that because he's a kind, gentle soul, which you find out later in the book, spoiler alert if you have not seen it, and then they hang out with the beavers, they had fish and chips to the beaver, and then they went on a quest to find Aslan, which is a really nice cool found the stone table, they found Aslan at the court. And then Jadis is with Edmund because Edmund got a sweetest delight and she he kinda betrayed his family and he went with the witch. So that's the little plot of Narnia and then at the very end of the book they became kings and queens of Narnia, which like happens, like Aslan is talented. Um how do I rate this book? Ten out of ten. Really good. That's my favorite book so far in the trilogy of Narnia series. I love this book a lot to pieces. I got this off of Amazon, by the way. But um, the thing about Lion, which in the wardrobe is, there's some dark elements that were left out in the movie. Which, number one, was the squirrel getting decapitated because it's in the book. Spoiler, Jadis um, was offering um, with Father Christmas and a bunch of animals, and they gather out for tea and having plum pudding. And they, they're all there. And then Jadis, the witch, turned everybody into stone. And then Jadis herself uh, turned out, she decapitated a squirrel and left the head on the table in stone. Everyone's like a fork in the mouth in stone, so like they hurt themselves. And also, um, they eat plum pudding. The plum pudding turned into stone, but... And then later on in the book, they had like the ride, sleigh ride. And then they went to walking because the snow melted because Aslan is near and then the spring. So like spring dawns on Narnia. Um, to like about that, but another dark element is they made Edmund walk, and the and the book is always in the in the, in the book in the movie, it's always the sleigh, but then Edmund had to get tied up and like slashed and stuff, which is uh, whipped and stuff, which is really sad, very dark. Another dark element is As Aslan's death, which well, not his death because he broke the curse, and the curse, hard to explain on this video. Um, if you want that video, I'll do it later. Summary of Aslan, he got tied up, shaved down, and then he dies. And then Lucy and, um, what was her face? Susan. We're both crying. I, I was crying myself. I, I was, like, really emotional. It's really sad to read in the book compared to the movie. Like, oh, it's so sad. I know, I know, now I know who Aslan is after reading Horse and This Boy. He's creator of Narnia. And he's dying right in front of you, and like it's so sad. But he's back in action, and then Nar and then he leaves. Okay, that's the whole plot of Narnia. Well, my favorite part in the book is Edmund's betrayal. I really like um, Lucy being Mr. Thomas. I love the Battle of Narnia. I love the Beavers. I love the whole entire book. I don't have a favorite part because it's my absolute favorite thing to talk about. It's Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Phenomenal. Might be my favorite book so far in the series. So, um, next up, we're reading The Horse and His Boy. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to finish this book. This book is thick, boy. Um, it says here, Narnia, where a horse talks, where treachery is brewing, where destiny awaits. On a desperate journey, two uh, runs of meat and join forces. Thought they were only looking for to escape the harsh and narrow lives. Soon they find themselves at the center of a terrible battle. At, it is the battle that decides their fate. The fate of Narnia itself. That's the horse and this boy. The cover art is like a horse in the background, and then the boy, and then like some stones. Which I don't know what the stones are yet. I'll figure that out. 
But this book was really good. I really liked it. There's a lot of funny parts. One thing you may not notice in the book before the end of the video, um, Edmund, spoiler alert, Edmund draws with his pencil lead a mustache and glasses on a stone lion, which didn't come to life because Aslan's the real lion. They thought that was actually Aslan, but it's not. So yeah. And one of the things I like in the actual book slash movie as well, it's like, Turkish delight when Edmund's in prison. And then Edmund reunites with the family at the end, which I love it. And then they got names like Aslan. So like Edmund the Wise, Edmund the Great. Like, I don't know. It's really good. It's like Susan the Gentle. And at the very end of the book, it describes the characters, what they look like. You had a picture of them in your head. I just picture in the movie cast, but hope you guys like that. It'll be a Horse in the Boy review coming up soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to finish that book. I can't find any audiobooks. So hopefully, you guys, like and subscribe at Sasha Boss. And for Narnia! And we're out. <laughs>